Good shot. Magnificent. I don't know whether it's got through the hands there of the Australian fieldsman. That's a nice shot to get yourself off, off the mark. It's a fantastic shot by Kumar Sangakkara. The key here is he got himself into position and um, was close enough. Had it in control and smashed his pass point. So he came down very hard on that. There's no question of stopping it. It's a beautiful shot and again another misfield by the Australians. Damien Martin's missed two there and he's away. Eight for one wicket. Outside edge, it just wide of the slip. We'll go for four, it's gone. Lots of fortune, a good delivery. Outside edge and another boundary. Yes, an edgy shot, but the Sri Lankans would take it. They need the boundaries earlier on. And uh, it's wide off uh, that slip. Just wide, of course. But uh, four runs, that's what matters. A bit lazy, wasn't he? Not back on across, just sort of threw his hands through it. It's flown over that fielder at point. That's four. Wide enough for a bit of flamboyance from Sangakara. Just too much whip from Jason Gillespie. And he threw a kitchen sink at it. Well, I followed his career. Kumar Sangakara and when he's not played well or the runs haven't come enough for him that can happen to virtually every batsman that's played international cricket oh, just out of reach of Ian Harvey something that I was going to make a point about Sangakara he can be his own enemy when he's not playing well he gets four for this but I think this is an adventurous shot attempted by Sangakara Courageous or foolhardy, depending on your point of view. Whatever, he hit it out of the middle. They got past Harvey in a hurry, that. And two men back there, another behind point, short cover. And the mid-off is on the edge of the circle once again. So the Aussies defending boundaries. Oh, that was an inside edge. And that will be four. Uh, maybe a slice of luck for Kumar Sangakara, but fortune so often favours the brave. Well, again, he saw the width outside the off stump, gave it everything like he does. He's picked up a boundary already earlier in the innings. And uh, hits uh, Gilchrist on the pads, so the pace was taken up, but the outfield, this outfield here at the Premidasa is Ferrari quick. be close the ball is on the ground so that is another element in this that the third up it's another boundary for Sri Lanka brings up the 50 runs on the board and again Sangakara very strong square on the offside Good ball for Michael Kaspers. Maybe he's, he's bowling for the four slip there. Just a fraction too much width, but a terrific stroke. Michael Clark. It's very quick there behind point. And again, you get another opportunity, and it'll be another boundary. Just fantastic stroke play. Square of the wicket on the offside. Beautiful timing. Well, we are in the 40th over. The ball isn't as hard and new as it was at the start for Kasparovic in his first couple of overs. The Sangakar are able to get into a good position and play it safely enough. Although there are catching men around the bat, on the offside, eight boundaries in his innings. The Sangakara. But they're stuck to the same plan here. Australia, the field hasn't changed. 
there he goes again the same result it's just been a batting feast today Jeff speaking of Morley yesterday so we must get wickets when we bowl to Australia to have a chance of winning and that's what they did it's a great shot down the ground that'll go so correct a high elbow full face the bat that is absolutely stunning that shot just a little push through the line of the ball and let's hope he goes on with it Sangakara he's got a history of uh, looking really good and throwing it away oh it's gone for another four and that's his 50 what a knock what a knock they're going crazy here and so they should he's coming at one for none and he is really showing some spine is he 11.50 in one day in the national cricket wonderful knock Two righty is showing some spine. They've set the field. They're bowling to his strength. And he's still getting it through. 11 fours in that 50. 50 out of 69. Fantastic. Oh, oh. oh you just see a hint of desperation shown by the Aussies here. They're not pressing in to stop the one, are they? <laughs> trying to sit on the ring. He's in a ring here to try and stop the boundaries. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it, it's an exhibition. That is as good as you'll see. Look at that equation. Just under five runs, they know were required, and eight wickets in hand. It's a good shot against the spin. Could have been premeditated. First ball of the over brings up the hundred as well. He's gone for the sweep shot. Well, it's a boundary that's come at the right time for him, and again, well timed. His second spell. And they'll be the 100, Tenga Kara fixed to square leg. They'll get a couple, in fact. And how appropriate that such a splendid piece of timing should be a part of that century. His teammates are happy, the crowd are happy, and of course, Kumar Tenga Kara raises the arms. His third one day 100, and his 100th match, what a terrific way to celebrate a century of matches. Tengakara flashes and he walks. He's got another very big wicket. The concentration has faltered after he's made the 100. A very important wicket for the Aussies. The crowd can't believe it. And Tengakara, having made the 100, can't quite go on with it. Disappointments all around. It's what he does from now on. I know it's been a brilliant 100. Gee, no one else has got past 25, but by oh, gee, he has played brilliantly. Standing applause here from his fans and his teammates, but he'd be disappointed. Kaspervich does the job, just a little feather on it. Ricky Ponnings, that's a good captaincy. Put Kaspervich on straight after Jason Gillespie. Keeps some pressure on him, but that has been a brilliant 100. Congratulations, sir. 101. 148 for four. Thank you next. 30 minutes. You've got Bruce Yardley and Sanjay Mandraker.